And welcome back everyone, Gvids here. Today we're back on the story mode and uh, I completely ignored all my treasure maps. Uh, so we're going to go back and do a few of these hunts. Um, the first one I believe is the Jack Hall Gang. And uh, we're going to go find that first point. But to start this guy off, you're going to want to meet a stranger at this exact point here. Just go on up to him. And you're going to want to, he's going to either try to sell you a map or you can kill him and rob him and get the map that way. Either way, you're going to get the map from him. And I believe you can do that around chapter 2. So for anyone that's new to the game, I know a lot of you have probably done this already, but if you haven't, this is where you want to go to start it off. And then let's just see where we need to go for a clue. I kind of have an idea already. If I can get the satchel. Alright, documents, as you can see I still have my maps, I haven't done nothing. <laughs> Alright, there's our clue. Let's go back to our maps here. See, it's luckily I've been playing this game a lot already, so I kind of have a good understanding where things may be. Alright, so we are going to meet each other over at that point there, and we can get our search on. Alright, so we made it to our target. Now, uh, I'll just quickly show you where I am again. Now, you're going to want to come to the back side here, where you can walk up on foot. And just kind of follow me, I guess. Uh, it's a little bit of a trick, not really a trick, but you're going to have to go up... Uh, oh, go off the side there. You're going to want to find this camp up here. Kind of shows you're in the right spot. Now I have yet to do this, but I am going to figure it out with you guys. I'm just trying to concentrate now. thinking it's right in there. Let's go down here. I probably could have made that fall, but I didn't want to push it. Now you're going to want to run and jump for this one. Climb up here. It's going to be right in this little crevice right here. And you're going to get yourself a few pairs of necklaces. Not too bad of a score to start off. Plus you get the second part of the map and the treasures get better and better as you go. So if you're starting off, uh, this is a definitely helpful little way. Plus it gives you an excuse to explore. Alright, so that's uh, the map one. Now let's continue our way to the map part two. Now let's just check out our uh, our clue here. What is this? Oh, there it is. Treasure map two. Oh, I know where that is. That looks a lot like the what's it called? Something Springs. Yeah, the Katora Springs, I believe it's called. Alright, well let's head there, because I, I know where that spot is. I've been there lots of times for hunting, and uh, the Legendary was also up there. Yeah, Legendary Wolf, I believe it was. I'll just put my cursor here until we get out there, and uh, we'll do a search again. Alright guys, so we'll meet each other over at the next point. Alright, we finally made it over here. Just to show you again, we're at Katora Springs. And the clue is very helpful actually, because it showed these three stone things. I don't know which stone it is, but... 
Why are you climbing that, dude? I didn't press square, I pressed the double joysticks. It's in one of these rocks. I'm sure the clue would probably tell me. I think it's this one right here. No? Is there another set of rocks that look just like this? Oh, here we go. There it is. I knew it was one of these rocks. Alright, so that was just $15 plus the next map. But the next map is going to give us two gold bars, which is going to be worth $1,000. So at the end of this whole treasure map is actually really worth doing. It does take a little bit of time going to place to place. But if you follow me step to step, I'm going to put all the times throughout the vid er, in, the, in the comment section. So you can just go click, click, click and go to spot to spot to spot. And it'll be nice and easy for you. So it's a quick thousand dollars. It's not bad. So let's get on to that next point. And for this guy, I guess we're going to want to look at our clue here. So whip out the old satchel. And we're on map three. Jack Hall map three. Tree in the middle of a lake. That also kind of reminds me of something. Now, when I was doing Hamish's mission uh, to get the legendary pike, his lake reminds me a lot like that. So let's go on over right to here, and I bet it's going to be it's either on this island or maybe this island, but it's on one of those. That's what I'm guessing. So let's go ahead and go over there and we can uh, get our search on. And I will meet you there. John can't swim. The horse is going to have to swim. Depending on what character you are, you're not going to want to swim as a person.
right, guys. Now we made it to our spot. Careful of the wolf pack there. If they're there for you guys. Ouch. Good leap, horse. Leap of faith right there for sure. Anyways, uh, I believe this would be our tree out here. So let's... Oh, wait. I need my horse. Depending on which character you are, you may need a horse to swim across this lake. That's as far as I'll go into that for you. But if you are far in the game, you need a horse for this one. Examine a rock. This has got to be it. This is where we're getting our gold bars. Two gold bars. That's $1,000, guys. Nice and easy. If you're new to the game, that's a big help. If you're not, obviously, you probably won't be watching this. So I really hope this helped you guys. Uh, I'm going to put all the times in the, in the comments there for you so you can do it nice and fast. Uh, anyways, I hope this helpful. If you did, make sure you like and subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.